We're here in Copenhagen at the conclusion of the Elite Women's Time Trial of the Road Road Championships talking with Tara Witten from Team Canada who just finished fourth. Tara, um, quite a day out there. Um, first uh, Ray Shaw, Canadian leading, and then Clara leading, and then you bump Clara to, to take the lead. Um, tell me about it because going into the second lap, you were still behind uh, Clara. Um, were the conditions changing or did you just, with your game plan, just to start a little slower and pick it up in the second lap? Um, well, I mean, I'm typically known for starting a bit too hard and then fading, so it was something that I was really focused on, like just being really controlled on the first lap and having something to still push on the second lap. Um, but at the same time, I, I know the conditions played a role. I think that Claire and I kind of had the opposite uh, course out there. I had it pretty wet the first lap and then it was a little bit less wet on the second lap and she had the opposite. Uh, it was starting to rain harder on her second lap. So uh, it's, yeah, the conditions played a role, but, um, but I also feel that I, I'm really happy with how I rode my second lap. <laughs> now, I spoke with Alison Sider once um, after she finished um, fourth in the um, Athens Olympics and she said fourth is the worst place to finish. How do you feel about that? Yeah, fourth is, is tough, <laughs> especially when it uh, it was really close. I mean, it was a matter of four seconds to second, I think, and then two seconds to third place. So I'm just kind of reliving a lot of the corners out there and thinking about places I could have gained time. But, but at the same time, I mean, I, I have to be happy with the result. Uh, it's my best result at Worlds for on the road. and. And, uh, I mean, to be within striking distance and know that I, I have what it takes is, is really exciting to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and it brings to the point because, I you know, uh, there was a lot of uh, focus being put on Clara because Clara won the Nationals and, and had beaten you and, and, and Ray. And do you think maybe a little less pressure on you uh, help, helped as well? <laughs> uh, possibly, yeah. I mean... I'm known more for the track, so so people maybe don't look at to me as much for results on the road. But but I I had really focused on this day for the last uh, well since track worlds. I mean I knew it was a course that would suit me, and uh, I've been feeling really good in training leading up to this. So so I still felt pressure on myself, and I I mean I wanted a I wanted to be on the podium, and yeah, fourth is tough, but. I'm, I'm still really happy with my ride. So, I mean, I, I want to talk about looking forward to a couple of things. First of all, uh, road race on uh, Saturday. Uh, clearly, Canada has a very strong team going into this race. Yeah, I mean, this is r really exciting. Obviously, we, we have the three of us um, as time trialists, but, I mean, the, the rest of the road team is really strong right now. Joelle just came off some really good results at uh, Tour of Holland. Uh, She's showing that she can get into those sprint finishes, and uh, I mean, Erin's been riding well since all season since her injury, and um, like it's it's pretty exciting. Uh, <laughs> to ha I think it's the strongest team we've had in in quite a few years. So hopefully, we can work well together. <laughs> now, looking further ahead, I mean, Olympics, obviously Omnium. I mean, you're a two-time world champion there, but. Um, there's also Team Pursuit, and there's also now potentially Road Time Trial. Is that something that is on your radar, um, possibly doing the, team, the, the, the Road Time Trial at the Olympics? <laughs> um, yeah, I have to do some thinking, I guess. Uh, the, I was, there are a lot of factors, <laughs> and uh, I was kind of going to wait until, until this race to, to, before I made my decision. Um, and now the decision's gotten harder. <laughs> It has, <laughs> but um, there are a lot of factors. I'm not sure uh, how it will fit in, beca especially because of the time trials before the track events. Um, so I, I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> okay, but I mean, obviously, um, you, you must be pretty pleased with uh, with the way this season has gone for you. Yeah, I'm really happy. I mean, um, I had planned. I I planned on on focusing on this uh, this event and being really fit for this event and so I'm, I'm really happy that it came together and it was a bit of a practice run actually for, for the Olympics. I mean any time I can 
sort of practice my preparation and go through those motions and and to have and to have the form on the day uh, sort of gives me confidence in my in my plan, my training going into the Olympics next year. Okay, well, congratulations and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.